Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I'm really excited that I get to share the gospel with you today. Today is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time and in today's gospel we hear about how a king is, is hosting a wedding and in that wedding he invites people whom he knows and he tells his servants to go gather the people whom he has invited. When the servants go and call the people, they don't show up. They don't show up. So then the king says to his servants, go find people who are on the streets. So the servants do as the king says. They go and gather anyone who's on the streets and those people attend the wedding. However, among those people, there is a man who doesn't wear the proper wedding garments. So the king asks him, he says, why aren't you wearing the proper wedding garments? And that person does not reply. The king, in response, he says that he says to his servants to tie his hands and his feet and throw him into the darkness. So this is uh, the story that we hear about or the parable that we hear about today. And there's a famous line that you've probably heard of in mass. Um, and it says, there are many who are invited, but only few who are chosen. So we're going to kind of think about that throughout um, today's uh, Children's Liturgy of the Word class. And so we're going we're gonna to build on that. So first off, what is Jesus trying to explain to us? There's two things that, that are going on here, right? The first one is that Jesus is comparing this wedding to the kingdom of heaven. So in the kingdom of heaven, there are going to be many people who are invited, right? Some will show up, some won't meaning some will obey God and choose to enter the kingdom of heaven and some will sin. The sinner in this story is, yeah, it's, it's the man who doesn't wear the garments. He's considered to be the sinner. And Jesus is, is saying that in order for you to be entering the kingdom of heaven, you need to be prepared. You need to be filled and you need to be yearning for God's love. So today, in this homily, we learn that all the people who don't show up are considered to be the sinners, right? All those people who the king invited didn't show up, those people were considered to be the sinners. Those who did show up, those, those who were the good and the bad who were on the streets, it didn't matter, right? It's kind of like God's love. He doesn't pick and choose people. He loves everyone equally. Everyone is invited. And so in this verse... We hear about how Jesus is kind and he's merciful and he's loving. And this is about the kingdom of heaven and how the kingdom of heaven is open to everyone who obeys the Lord. And at the very end, it says, many are invited, but few are chosen. That means that all of us are invited, but only few will be able to sit at the kingdom of heaven, meaning that we're all children of God. We're all invited to go sit with Jesus at the table of the Lord. But if we sin, then we can't really do that. So this is kind of what's going on in today's homily. So I want to do a little activity with this. So if you can, go ahead and grab a piece of paper, just any piece of paper. And we're going to write down, um, many are chosen, many are invited. Many are invited, few are chosen. And few are chosen, right? Many are invited, but few are chosen. So after you write it, write that, I want you to kind of come up with some lines that come off of this, right? Just sort of a few lines that come off. And I want you to think about times where in your life, maybe at school, maybe at home, uh, maybe with your friends, there's a situation where many of you are invited, but only few are chosen. So I want you to just think about that for a little bit. Okay, hopefully you have an idea. If you, if you haven't, take some time and, and write a little bit about what you think um, might represent this. But let me share with you something that I thought. So. We go to school, right? All of us go to school, whether it's at home virtually or in person, we all go to school. And 
at school, we have an option to participate, right? We have an option to engage and get involved and um, answer questions and ask questions and be a part of a discussion, right? So in a similar way, Jesus is saying that everyone should participate, right? Everyone has an invitation, but only few will actually participate, like how only few will show up to the wedding, right? And a few will sin, like the man who didn't wear the proper wedding garments. So that's an example. All of you at school are invited to participate, but probably only a few of you will actually follow through and discuss and get involved with the class, right? So hopefully you are. <laughs> um, but that's an example of this gospel, right? Jesus is saying, again, many are invited, but few are chosen. So as we move forward throughout this week, I encourage you to think about how you can obey God and how you can think about incorporating God into your life more and think about that whole aspect of you are invited. What can I do to make sure that I am chosen into the kingdom of God? Well, you can be kind, you can be compassionate, you can be helpful to other people. Those are all things that God is is showing us and teaching us, right? If we can be more like him, we are going to be at the kingdom of heaven one day. So it's just today's homily, um, and that's that's many are many are invited, but few are chosen. All right, bye guys.